bridgeable. Okay, sweet. Right, so you can bridge it in the four ohm, get about 400 watts. The 500 version incorporates, last year with the 300 one, we could do a, a single boost, right, where we get double the battery voltage, which gave us the 300 watts. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing a uh, double boost. So you're talking about close to 36 watts? 36 volts. Volts. Volts, got it, yep. So, here's your, you're looking at your sine wave and you're looking yeah. at your voltage that's available. Right now it's the battery, so it says 12 volts. And then with the 301, you get up to about that level there. That'd be your two times battery, so 24 volts, 300 watts. Now we're getting a second boost on top of that, which gives us that 36 volts. Almost nearly unclipped, too. Yeah, yeah. That's so incredible. Got, got a nice clipping response. Second boost. And it, it travels with the sine wave, so that's where the yeah. all the efficiency is coming from. So That's we, pretty awesome. If we... Uh, Show you what it'll do with what it looks like with music. It just bounces around with the music. Mm -hmm. So when the when the signal is below the, the battery, the, the amplifier, the outputs think it's it's a 150 watt amp. Mm -hmm. So they run very efficient in that stage. But then when you need the boost, you get your boost. Yeah. So that helps with heat as well, doesn't it? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Pure efficiency definitely Pure efficiency. helps with heat dispersal. Efficiency goes up. <laughs> heat goes down. What's a, what's a, heat goes down. It's awesome. awesome. What allows us to get into the smaller package. PBR 501. And then we have a uh, PBR 300 by 2. Which is now bridgeable to single channel. Very cool, neat feature. The other side. Basically, low ground. So they'll pocket. accept the input, they'll accept up to 12 volts on our mess. So, fully balanced differential input, so you can run speaker level off the head unit into the 